Well, it turned out to be a nice Thursday. Sure hope you had a chance to get out, maybe enjoy some sunshine as you drove around town. It just felt really, really nice. Now, I hope you enjoyed it because, uh-oh, yep, here comes more rain. Friday showers, isolated thunderstorms, not really looking at a severe weather risk. Now, we do have a risk Friday night and Saturday morning, but I'm not too confident that we'll see much activity. We don't have a lot of instability. While we do have a lot of spin in the atmosphere, wind shear, which can help support, it does support thunderstorm activity, I just don't think we'll see a whole lot. So we'll see how it all plays out, and I'll keep you posted on that because that would be Friday night into Saturday morning. Rain continues Saturday, should start to dwindle as we head through the day on Sunday. So we start Friday morning off with temperatures in the 50s and 60s. That's been the trend all week long. It's been nice. We'll shave off a few degrees from uh, on Friday from what we saw on Thursday. Thanks to the clouds and the rain, we'll make it into the mid to maybe some upper 70s. While we may be dry for the very start of the morning rush hour or the kids heading off to school, I don't think it's going to last very long because you can see the rain settling on in as we get into the lunch hour. Noon to 3, we'll maybe see a little bit of a break and maybe a little bit more activity from 3 till man, maybe 7. Now, this is one of our latest model guidance, uh, so take it with a grain of salt, okay? I don't necessarily think, I think the general consensus is that a lot of this activity will start to wind down Friday afternoon and evening before it kind of brings uh, back more moisture by Saturday. So something to keep in mind, I know we have graduations. I've got several friends speaking at graduations on Friday night. We've got outdoor events uh, all weekend long. And so unfortunately, it does look like more unsettled weather is on the way. So we'll keep you posted on how this all plays out. But potentially, half an inch to an inch of rain across the Southern Valley, less likely than that through Friday evening if this all plays out. Just know that it's going to be unsettled and know that we're going to pick up all through the weekend anywhere from a half an inch to maybe even over an inch of rain in some locations. That's going to be the trend. Temperatures will stay in the 70s, though, so we'll be at or slightly below average through the weekend. Here's what it looks like in the big picture. Uh, you can see how this energy is just going to be moving its way into the area. You've got a surface low that's going to track to our south, an upper level low that's going to swing its way on through, and this just provides us a lot of lift in the atmosphere. We've got moisture being pumped in from the Gulf of Mexico, but as we head through Sunday, the low says, I'm out of here. We may get some wraparound moisture Sunday, but uh, then Monday we will be trending on the drier side and will likely stay dry on Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to watch. We do have another couple of systems being advertised right now. That's day six and seven, so we'll concentrate on, on that a little bit later. But when you take it day by day, this is Friday through Saturday. Uh, this is from the uh, Weather Prediction Center, and you can see how we're going to see those rain showers settle on through. So Saturday into Sunday, but Sunday into Monday, that system kicks its way on out of here. We'll have nice ridge building on in. That's going to allow for some warmer temperatures and dry weather conditions through Tuesday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, here comes our next round of rain. So when you add up all those seven days, we could see anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall here locally. Again, that's just a broad perspective of how much rainfall we could see. Some of you could get more, some maybe even less. Coolest day comes through on Saturday at 76, then we may be pushing the upper 80s to maybe near 90. It's, it might be so warm it's off the charts. I'll fix it. Don't worry about that. Uh, but it could be potentially much, much warmer by the middle and latter part of the next week for high temperatures, but low temperatures will stay nice and steady. Uh, dew points are going to be elevated, so low temperatures will stay elevated as well. Remember, the temperature that will never and can never drop below the dew point, because once those meet, you get saturation. Highlight of the weekend forecast, mid to upper 70s showers. Saturday could be trending a little bit drier on Sunday. And speaking of warmth, the Climate Prediction Center is saying, wait a second, we could actually be above average all the way towards the end of the month for temperatures and maybe precipitation as well. And it's like, wait a second, we don't need any more rain. But while we are talking about this active wet weather pattern, we're rounding out the week with showers. We've got graduations. We have outdoor events. We've got tons of stuff going on. Plus, it's the weekend. We want to do things. We've been locked up working all week. Check in on the latest every single day with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's 100% free. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word. The interactive radar is amazing. It gives you current, past, and future radar. You've got access to the only 24-hour weather channel here in town. I do post a one-minute with Witcher. I post a daily forecast uh, four times a day. So check those out. If you don't have time for a long forecast... Don't worry about it. Don't waste your time. I've got you covered with One Minute with Witcher. It is, though, under the Daily Forecast tab with the East Tennessee Weather app. We sure hope you have a great night. Don't forget, Wake Up with Witcher starts at 7 o'clock, if I can do it, by the way. I've got my eyes redone. We're getting those eyes redone. Anyways, I hope to see you soon.